Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Yes, I pulled out my good old trusty Canon out, my T2i, to do a really quick update review on my 1911 uh, 22 that I got from um, from my local gun shop a couple of years ago. Well, I shouldn't say a couple of years ago. Let's just say uh, one and a half years ago. About that, it'll be almost two years since I had this. This thing has run. 99.99% of the time. Remember, it's a 22, so it's not going to run 100% all the time. So, uh, but the great thing about this is like I rarely have to clean this gun. Uh, so as long as I had it, I think I cleaned it three times. And I mean, I'm talking about this thing gets filthy, nasty, dirty, blah blah blah. So you'll get the point since I run 22 on this. Um, one of my magazines, I don't know which one it is since I never marked it. One of them is actually kind of messed up. It won't run the first couple of, uh, the first couple of rounds when I shoot. I don't know why. It just doesn't. I just got to mark which one it is. Um, but this thing runs, just like I said, 99.99% .99 of the time. The only upgrades I did to this when I first got it was the slide release. Um... What I did is I added an extended one. Uh, I got it from some company and they suck big time when they first started producing these things. And I had to literally file down the whole thing to make a fit. We all know that from the first video I posted on there. Um, but everything so far, the only ammo that I still cannot get to work on this is like 99% of the um, subsonic ammo does not work on this. The only one that still works really well, it is the Remington 36 grain subsonic ammo because it runs a little bit hotter than some of the other ones, so it cycles it with no issue. It is a little bit louder out of my suppressor, but everything else that I used on this that is suppressed that I have to hand cycle it to chamber a new round has been virtually very, very quiet. It sounds just like an air gun, but maybe a little bit less than an air gun. Um, and um, so... And of course, still, the paint job still sucks on this thing. Oh my God. I mean, you can see the paint job on this. Since day one, it literally falls apart. I mean, literally, like, you can see it right there where the paint's actually coming off. I mean, I don't know why. Look at this. You can see it on my finger. Look at that. That's, that's from the slide. But for some reason, it's just a slide. Um, the rest of the gun doesn't do that. I don't understand why, but for some reason the slide, the paint of it, just all of it comes right off. Um, but it's still a hoot to shoot. I mean, this thing, I already had one piece fall off of this. It was like a little piece of aluminum that fell from inside, and it still runs. And it's been over a year since that piece fell off, and um, it still runs. It's still accurate. It still shoots a little bit low, but once I put the suppressor on it, it's almost uh, point, of aim, point of aim, point of impact on this. But... Uh, just wanted to do a really quick video about that. Uh, just to show you guys, this thing is still running. I rarely ever clean it. I actually run it dry. I actually do not put oil on this whatsoever. And it still runs with no issues. Um, uh, hopefully I'll have some video. I've been talking about that for a while. And I've been trying to figure out how to put a camera on this. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to try to like uh, do some weird stuff to it to put a camera on it so you can see it being shoot. I'll, I'll, have, I'll explain later on in another video. But, all right, guys, that's about it for the SIG 1911-22 um, released by uh, GSG. Um, it's a German company, so if you guys want to look it up. But, just like I said, if you're looking for a good one with a really good warranty, this one has excellent extra warranty. Um, awesome little 1911. It's full size, so you guys with big hands will probably love this, and people with smaller hands, all you have to do is just probably change the the side panels for something a little bit smaller but this thing is awesome and kicks ass all right guys till next time god bless and see you all in another video